Good morning. I am rushing to Shibuya because I'm meeting a new friend, Yurina, a part-time creator. Content she creates, it's actually really interesting because she goes to different parts of Tokyo and she basically does these garbage cleanups. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a street cleanup and exploring Tokyo. Let's go. Look at this little squad here. So to clean up garbage in Japan, you need tongs. He needs here to help. Check out all of this. It's just all just garbage just lined up here. Yurina, don't say Tokyo kita na yo. Okay, so when people drink here, they leave a lot of trash, and also there's a lot of tourists. Try to clean the city. Alright, we gotta clean this up. This morning was a lot of fun. I felt really dirty after picking up that garbage and I'm a little bit of a clean freak. Felt like I needed to just wash my entire body. So took a shower. But now I had this injury on my left shoulder and uh, I've been doing this rehab to try to protect it and get it to as strong as possible. Just gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing. I had to clear out the entire area here for Mike. Ugh. So, ugh, here we go. Feet, shoulders out. This is supposed to strengthen my shoulder blade. And this doesn't look tiring, but it is, oh. but I do feel like the more I do these exercises, the stronger everything gets. Anyway, I am gonna be heading to Hiro at the Playworks. Uh, I gotta get some work done there, talk to Mike, and I'm gonna see Ken. Ken, who was on the walk with us earlier and helping us clean, it's really, really nice person and reminds me a lot of Jason's energy. Always really positive, and that's something that you kind of take for granted until you realize that most people are negative-minded. Be honest, um, up until probably the wedding and maybe a year before the wedding, I was definitely a negative minded person and it definitely showed. And um, yeah, there's been a big shift since I got married because I realized that how I treat people reflects on my wife, my friends, my business, my family and everybody else. And making these small shifts internally, like little shifts here and there and all these different little places has made me so much happier, you know? And I think I've talked to you about personal responsibility and uh, being able to take responsibility for even the hardest things that we sometimes like to push onto others. Whether or not I'm responsible for it in that moment or it's something I did in the past or relatively recently, a lot of it kind of does fall into my control. And I think with that mindset, it really allows for a much more positive life. So I hope uh, if there's anything you take away from these vlogs, it's that uh, the things you believe and the things you think, they really do manifest themselves, even when you know, you're not thinking about it consciously. So if you're thinking positively, and you're putting out a lot of love into the world, it comes back. Yeah, anyway, off the Eat Play Works. Ugh. Oh. I am at Eat Play Works. I have a tasting right now with a new friend here in Tokyo. And he's Miwako. Konnichiwa. Miwako is actually very much into tea and matcha. I'm very nervous because whenever I present it to Japanese people, I always worry about whether or not they're going to think it's good. I'm going to start the morning off with uh, a little bit of stress and hopefully it goes well. Cheers! Hi. Hi. Yes! She said, Oishi! Yes! Accomplished. That's really good. All right, so Mayumi is putting me on the spot and making me make matcha here at her sister's cafe. So I guess we are. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're doing it. Mayumi is going to try Nekohama for the first time. Yeah. You like the chocolate? I love the chocolate. So this that was the best there. one I ever had.
just got back to the office and I gotta jump on a call real quick with our friends over at Tokyo Onsen. So we're gonna be helping them out with a little bit of content because their Instagram does not reflect the incredible property that they have. Since we're partners with them, we thought we should be able to help them out a little bit. So let's see how this all goes. <laughs> Six days I've taken over my guy Lin's office and he's been kind enough to let me stay not just here and use his office space but also stay in his place. Very grateful for new friends and old friends and just everyone that's come into my life through Nekohama. It's kind of incredible to be honest. So I'm heading to dinner. I'm meeting someone from the Swiss Chamber of Commerce who lives in Japan. We're gonna go grab some soba in Aoyama at the Aoyama Grand where I had a date night with so Excited because I love people and I love meeting more people and uh, yeah, get the opportunity to hear more about them and also talk about what it is that we're uh, trying to do here. There's a, a much bigger thing happening uh, here in Nekohama that we've been able to share and I just really can't wait to share it with you. It's gonna bring me to Japan. It's gonna actually probably bring me to Japan a lot more and I'm not mad about that at all. I can't wait to, to be able to spend more time here, go to Nagoya, spend time with my, my grandmother. We were just invited to our partner in Matsumoto and they asked me, bring your grandmother, bring your mother, and this is your second home. I can't wait for that to happen. So anyway, I'm off to Aoyama Grand.